In this section, I'm going to discuss how you create uh, product attribute configurations using the application platform's PIM attribute configurator uh, so that you can uh, use these specific configurations for specific product categories. Um, so the first thing is to navigate to this menu here, the product attribute configurator. You should only have to do this once. Uh, you know, in your setups, whenever you have uh, uh, either allocated new uh, fields or attributes that you want to show against a product, a particular product range or category. Um, so just click into here. What you'll see is uh, just a list of elements. So you might have uh, a template that you could clone, you know, that may have multiple uh, uh, things that you actually want to to use you know when you're creating them so common factors so if i'm coming into here i can see that i always want to show you know product uh, features or uh, a description or maybe some uh, dimensional type stuff like length height width those types of things so you can use this and claim this i've actually because we're working with uh, fluids today i've actually created a template uh, for the purpose of this that's already got that and I've already added uh, a number of uh, features or attributes that I want to show in this configuration but, it, but I'm missing some so I'm just going to add uh, some more into it to show you how so basically I'm going to clone this um, so just showing you how you can clone so go into that these three little dots here uh, allows me to just clone you know this particular set of records so this thing so i'm going to give it a name i'll just call it fluid because uh, that's what i'm going to be using uh, as the main one uh, and then what you can see is i've got uh, basically a list of fields to choose from i've got varying titles uh, so this is the default title that you set up for the field or the label uh, you know one of the great things about this is that I can actually go in and edit these and change them to what I want them to be so we're going to do that as part of this um, I can add something to a document this is really used for dynamic technical specs uh, you know CS uh, if you want to have that type of feature um, so you might have uh, a, you know a technical spec on, online uh, that you just want to generate in the portal uh, that might show an image a uh, number of fields so you can click these things if the field is not something you want to work with for a particular thing you can just delete it uh, and this is just merely a, a an ordering of these within within this element so to add some rows uh, you know I'm adding something I want to go right to the top because I know that I missed off some fields. So I missed off the error, the error sold one. Uh, I'll add, add some more. I know I was right uh, at the top. Error sold flammability. Uh, I know right at the bottom, I missed off the appearance field. Uh, and then I think there was some I, I left at the bottom. So we'll just add those into this i mean you can come into this at any moment in time and just literally find the fields that you want to add into into your configurator uh, and just add them i'll show you how they're used in a minute uh, as we go go forward so we're just going to add two more fields that i've left off uh, that one the vapor and then the last one i think there's voc i oh, know and there was a package one i think i i deliberately put into here uh, as well so what we've got here is uh let's just find that so if i hit q to, i think it's that q quantity case so what i'm going to do is just save this down the next thing i want to associate this uh element with the uh, categories so here's my category list obviously if i'm working within cleaners uh, you know 
their attributes would be totally different to say a fashion or clothing type thing or a computing so the attributes that are associated with this type of product is totally different to say barbecues or some other form of uh, element so i'm going to associate it with this brake maintenance category so i'll go back into um, so i'm back into my fluids um, i'm into this tab here i'm going to attach it find my so we'll just find that category and we'll attach attach this to it um, so and then we're just gonna now move into the second bit some of these titles I want to change so if I was going back to my uh, product or you know I actually want these to be called case length so case because that was what this was this was we changed this word to depth because that's what we had in the spreadsheet and we call that case because we're actually measuring the case dimensions and the case weight for this particular category uh, we'll change some others I'm going to call this individual units length and we'll change this to unit depth unit heights and then no I've got units uh, whatever I could go on and change all of these but you know I'm not going to do that at the moment so effectively I've made my changes so I'm now going to come in and have a look and see where this is used so if I go into the products search that I know one of the products uh, so here's my brake maintenance section so if I go into this what I'm actually seeing now is only those those uh, attributes that I've got in that list because I've associated you know them with this this category so now I can start working with this list only uh, you know ignore all the other fields relating to other categories so I can associate attributes with these uh, here you can also see you know I've changed the labels in in the category uh, so now I can start working with it either on an individual basis where you know I could put some uh, information in uh, I'm not going to do that I'm going to show you how to import data uh, into the system or do a group edit uh, in the next section so hopefully that's just given some, some ideas of how um, you know uh, flexible the whole system is